Some people are blaming all this disruption on the planning model that Southwest Airlines uses. Southwest uses a point-to-point -point system rather than the hub model used by most other airlines. News on 60's Emory Bryan explains. Most airlines fly passengers from cities like Tulsa to larger hubs where they can catch a flight to almost anywhere. But Southwest operates more like a bus service, going point to point, picking up and dropping off passengers as they go. While larger airports have bigger problems with stranded passengers, there were people stuck in Tulsa, where connecting flights are few and usually it's the beginning or end of a trip. But Southwest treats most cities as a connection rather than a destination. Southwest does have direct nonstop service from Tulsa to these cities, and in the summer, Southwest also flies direct to Orlando. A typical schedule for Southwest in Tulsa can mean seven flights out and nine flights in, but today the airline only scheduled one in and two out. But because we build our flight schedule around communities, not hubs, cities where large numbers of scheduled flights simultaneously froze as record bitter cold brought challenges for all airlines. The Southwest model can mean short flights and more stops. Flight 492 runs from Tulsa to Oakland, but stops in Denver, Colorado Springs, and Las Vegas. A Southwest employees union says the model hasn't kept up with the airline's growth, saying this is not the same airline built when planes went point to point. We're now experiencing the same problems as airlines that rely on the hub and spoke system. Southwest is flying a limited schedule with 80 planes in the air today at noon as they regroup and rebook all those passengers. In Tulsa, Emory Bryan, Oklahoma's own News on 6.